Thank you, everyone. Now, Alan and the Googlers over here, if I say anything that's factually inaccurate, um, then I want you to call me out, OK? Because this is a classroom session. And I think it's a big question to ask, is Google evil? OK? Now, there are very, there's, a, there's a very complicated way to answer that question and a very simple way. I'll give you the simple way. Yes. OK? Now, if anybody has seen Terminator 2, it looks something like this. It's a very simple project. You know, how could this possibly take over the world and kill us all? You know, look at Google. How complicated could it be, really? Look at those lovely colors. You look at these lovely smiling faces. Would they ever build anything that could kill you? Yes. Now, this man found out why. He found out the secret behind Google. He found out the secret. And I'm afraid that Steve Jobs has gone to a better place because of Google. Now, I'm not suggesting that Google poisoned a coffee that Steve Jobs may have drunk. I'm not suggesting that. I might be implying that Google murdered Steve Jobs. I'm not saying that, but it might have happened. OK? OK, look, but we're dealing with facts here. And so far, the Google guys have not interrupted. Now, as you can see, the Google guys have a very happy bunch. This is a general lunch at the Google offices, I believe. There's lots of lovely pills there, and they're just wandering around, happy-go-lucky. That's, that's why they don't wear any ties. Um, uh, now, here is a development. Now, I believe there are levels in the Google Pay order. So, level one, you have the club. Now, that's your first benefit of getting into the Google offices. Um, level two, uh, you seem to be taller than level three. Maybe that's because you sit, le you know, you don't spend as much time at a desk. Um, now, this reminds me of one of my funniest anecdotes about Google um, and how Google got its colors. Because it's, it was a very, it's, it's a great story, isn't it, Alan? How Google got the colors. It's, it's a brilliant story. Basically, someone looked out a window, and there was a rainbow. And they thought, fuck me, that's our logo. <laughs> brilliant. It was, it was one of those moments where it was just you know, divine inspiration, some might say. Divine inspiration. And as you can see, there is a mathematical formula behind it. I don't really understand this mathematical formula. I've got to be honest with you. 42. <laughs> I don't know either. Maybe it's 84 divided by 2. Hmm? Yeah, that's right. That's maths. Now, one of the things about Google, which, which I've always appreciated, is its relationship with nature. OK? I think like the Googlers, to me, as you, as you can see when you look at them, they are people who will go out into the wilderness, and they will kill a fish with a robotic arm in, in quite a nasty manner. Or, you know, or they might just sit at a desk and smile and chat away at people and, and just say hello. Um, that's, what I, uh, and that's what I like to imagine that happens in the Google office. It's really old computers. Um, people sitting there quite humbly. And you see, see, this to me is evidence that Google really is evil, because a Google employee did do that. And I think that's quite uncannily enough real evil there. Just a fish minding its own business, really. You know, I think that's fairly unfortunate. Now, this is the first stage in becoming a Google employee, brain surgery. Uh, now, what happens in this step is you, get, you have the prefrontal cortex cut out, okay? You get all logic removed, hence why you have such smiley, happy people um, at work all day. Uh, now, why are there so many songs about rainbows? Now, we've already heard that there's lots of songs about inclement weather. I think the more interesting statistic there about evilness is how many songs are there about Google? Zero. I'm sure that's accurate. Exactly, you see, nothing evil has a song written about it. Um, chairs. I'm pretty sure there are songs written about chairs. No one's disagreeing. I'm pretty sure there are songs written about chairs. There are no songs written about Google. In fact, all of those items there, cameras, raindrops, um, helicopters, buses, they all have songs written about them, but Google doesn't. Now, one of the things I have got, which is a little bit top secret, and the Google guys didn't want this to get out, um, but it is about the new OS for the Android. Okay, now we, I know we've got the ice cream sandwich, which you know is a bit complicated. But the Australian office have actually come out with something a lot simpler. Okay, and it really it really taps into what the Sydney um, spirit of the city is all about. Um, okay, so we've already had ice cream sandwich. We now have the next one, which is of course Golden Gay Time. Okay. That is the next Android operating system. It's got a great back end. Um, much like this rainbow, it's, it's, you know, it brings out strong emotions in people when they see it. Um, and, and also, they do go a bit mental um, after a while. A little bit crazy. Um, which is why, that's what happens to Google people. Do you ever see anyone old working for Google? No. Why? They go mental and they die. 
that, well, well that, might, that might be the proof then. That uh, Maybe after all, I was wrong for these five minutes that maybe Google isn't evil. Am I wrong, people? All oh, right, there you go then. <laughs> I wasted my time. Oh, well. Thank you very much.